It's Puppy, the troll. Hey guys, it's Jana and welcome to Pinch of Luck. Today we are going to make this awesome troll cake. Since the Trolls movie is coming out soon, I thought I would make something super fun, so I decided to make Poppy. All of the ingredients and tools we will be using will be down in the description below. So let's get lucky! Let's go ahead and make our cakes. I just made a chocolate box cake and followed directions on the back, but you can make your own recipe. And I also made a strawberry cake, because it's pink. I have this giant cupcake pan we are going to use. Just spray it down with some baking spray. I don't know how this is actually going to come out, but I thought it would be pretty yummy to mix some strawberry and chocolate together. So just take your little scooper and a spoon and start throwing your batter in your pans. Fill up your pans with batter until you have about a half inch to an inch left. Throw them in the oven at 325 for about 50 minutes to an hour or until your toothpick comes out clean. So while those are in the oven, we are going to make our hair. I'm super excited, I hope this works. So I have some rice noodles here. I tried to find ones that were as long as possible. So let's go ahead and open up the package and we are gonna break off the bent ends and just keep the straight ends and throw them on a wax paper lined cookie sheet. And I have this color mist. I bought pink because Poppy's hair is pink. So we're just going to spray down our rice noodles and get them all nice and pinked up. Probably should have wore some gloves. All right, we're just gonna set these aside and let them dry. Now we're just going to make some blue fondant flowers for her headband. So let's just roll out some blue. Some of her flowers have four petals and some of the flowers have three, so I am just freehanding it with my X-Acto knife. And then just kind of clean up your edges and throw them on a plate to let them dry. All right, now our cakes are out and cooling, so let's go ahead and clean up the bottom part of our pan, and we are going to use this to make the chocolate bottom. I have some light blue candy melts and some royal blue candy melts. We're just gonna throw some light blue candy melts into the bowl and just a few of the darker blue and go ahead and microwave that up until it's nice and melted. Grab the bottom of your pan and throw the candy melts right in there and take your spoon and just try to get it as covered as you can. All right, this looks great. Let's go ahead and throw this in the freezer until it is hardened up and then we will do the process all over again. Just one more time. So I have my cakes here. The color pink went away. It kind of turned into a weird beigey orange. So, I guess that didn't work out very well. I thought it'd be really cute to like cut it open. It's like pink and brown. Oh well, it still smells delicious. So now we're just going to level off our cakes. Oh, it's pink in the middle. Yay! And throw a little chocolate icing in the middle and put the top on. I got my candy milk cupcake bottom. I sure hope that it comes out without breaking. And then, I don't know what I was thinking, we gotta shave down the side so it will actually fit into the cupcake candy melt thing. Probably ought to take the top back off and just shave it down a little bit. All right, let's try to get this out. Just peel back the silicone. That looks awesome. I am impressed. Let's grab our cake and throw it in there. Let's do a little bit more frosting and the topper. Looking cute. Now we just need to ice the top. I have some pink icing here and just lather it on there nice and thick because we are going to stick our hair to it. I really hope this works. Emma wanted to help, so let's see how we do. Did you wash your hands? Awesome. If we do one at a time, that's gonna take forever, right? Let's do this one. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, I think I got an idea. We just take a bunch and then stick them on. So what I think I'm going to do is take this whole first bundle <gasps> and put it right in the middle. Push it down in there. Great job, you're doing a great job. Actually, it's not half bad, is it? Now can I, can, now can I do it by myself with that tree? Goodness, that is funny. I love it. What do you think, Emma? It's funny. It's pretty cool, right? Thanks for your help, Emma. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, guys, that looks pretty great. 
So now we're just gonna take some green fondant and roll it out and make the little band for her hair. Now we're just gonna take our green strip and wrap it around the base of the hairline. All right, I do not like how that turned out, like whatsoever. I'm gonna leave it on as like a fondant base. And I'm gonna make another green strip. Let's try this again. Definitely like that better. Now we're just gonna clean up our haircut, take some little scissors and just cut off any random hair sticking out weird. All right, now we just get to place our little flowers on her headband. So you can actually use these as camouflage for any bad spots on your little band. I have a few. It's okay, it's what flowers are for. Just gonna take your flower and put some water on it and place it wherever you want. Now Emma's gonna try one. Good job. Let's see, what do you think? Amazing! Does it look like her? Well, she does have eyes. Well, I know, but it's, it's a cupcake for her. So are you excited to see the Trolls movie? Yeah. Think it'll be good? When are we going to see it? Well, I think it comes out in a couple weeks. Why is your tongue green? <gasps> Did you eat some green fondant? I just take a pain though. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think we got lucky. Well, if you guys make this, send me a picture on Twitter, and if there's anything you want to see, just leave a comment down below. And as always, if you loved it, like it, subscribe to it, and share it. Thanks, guys. Mwah. And say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.